Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss about the negative feedback and positive feedback system, and we'll analyze why negative feedback system is stable and why positive feedback system is not stable. Okay. So let's write what is the equation for error here because the feedback V naught and it is multiplied by some feedback factor H, it is feeding with negative. Okay. So if I write error for this above uh, circuit, error will be V in minus v naught into h okay this is the error formula here okay now let's see so in this negative feedback so for some certain input and some reference i was expecting v naught and it was coming v naught only but because of some disturbance at the output at output so v naught suddenly got increased to by some delta v naught okay so in stable system what it should do because of some disturbance at the output v naught got increased to v naught plus delta v naught so what it should do is in the next cycle in the next uh, by completing this whole feedback system in the next cycle what it should do it should decrease the v naught so that v naught will come back to previous v naught value so that it will there will not be any disturbance disturbance will be clear that means disturbance is delta v naught so you understand right so let's analyze whether that uh, correction is happening in this network or not okay so let's induce some because of this delta v naught let's if i rewrite this equation so v naught into h minus delta v naught into h so this is the error okay so here what happened so v in minus delta v naught into h that was previous term and there was some extra term added delta v naught into h which is proportional to the noise the noise was delta into v naught h is a feedback factor that means error got reduced so that if error got reduced if i write a equation here v naught will be g into error because previously in general in stable condition generally error will all, all around equal to zero but what happened because of this delta v naught some disturbance occurred so what happened delta v naught into h that means error became negative some negative value instead of it becoming you should generally ideally it should be around zero ideally it should be zero in fact it won't be zero it will be around zero 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 and because of this disturbance the instead of having to be at zero it became negative the error became negative finally v naught got reduced because of negative e and v naught got reduced that means what whatever we expected v naught should reduce that happened because delta v naught increased but because of this closure loop negative feedback system again v naught got reduced by a factor of delta proportional to delta v naught so that v naught became again to previous reference that means stable condition that's why the stable condition means v naught came back again to v naught by eliminating this disturbance so that's why we call negative feedback is a stable system okay stable system okay if i apply a negative v delta v naught what will happen if i apply a ne negative delta v naught it will happen what will happen let's analyze so he now v naught will become v naught minus delta v naught and again what happened so this will become positive so that instead of error to be zero around zero error became positive so that v naught will become v naught into g into e v naught equal to g into e that means v naught increased so that uh, to corrupt this negative disturbance v naught got the increase again uh, it corrected for disturbance again v naught went to previous v naught value so this is about negative feedback if i apply the same concept to positive feedback what will happen let's analyze error here again will be equal to v in plus v naught into h okay so let's analyze the same way if i apply a delta v naught which is uh, disturbance because of some disturbance v naught got increased by some delta v naught if i apply the same equation into this v1 again v in plus v naught into h plus delta v naught into h 
so what happened previously this was here and delta v not in the h that means error got increased so ideally in the stable condition let's assume error is zero around zero then what happened because of some disturbance occurred what happened error again increased that means if error increases what will happen so if i read raw v not equal to error into g so what happened because of some v not increased so v not because of some disturbance v not increased by delta v not and again error increased again v not increased okay so what happened so in previously the error was delta v not and again because of this closed loop uh, error got increased by some factor k into again some delta v not so previously the error was delta v not in the second iteration first iteration the output uh, error became delta v not plus k into delta v not and again thus this the, the error uh, this will feed back to the system again so if we feed back to system this one and ag error again increases then v not again increases like that v not is not stabilizing to the desired value so v not is continuously increasing because of small disturbance at output so that's why we call positive feedback as a unstable system so positive feedback is a not a stable system okay so let's now let's go through some example with an op amp okay so here i have an op amp uh, which has some voltage v1 and v2 and uh, there is some feedback from output to inverting terminal and the same way non inverting terminal in general if i write a op amp equation v not equal to a into v uh, inverting in non inverting input minus v inverting input voltage at non inverting input minus voltage at inverting input so this is a general equation of the op amp okay so let's consider so in general to find this feedback right so what we need to do is we need to short circuit the voltage sources and open circuit the current sources so let's do this one okay so for analysis okay so let's assume uh, i have increased v not by some delta v not okay so what happened and so we can consider this as a superposition also it's fine okay so let's find what is the v, v minus and v plus voltage so what happened v minus v minus is equal to uh, v not into 2 by 3 2 by 3 into v not okay in the same way v plus is equal to v not by 2 so if i change v not so let's assume because of some disturbance v not increased by plus delta v not okay so because of this disturbance what will become v minus will be we will find only with respect to um, this disturbance okay v delta v not 2 into delta v not divided by 3 in the same way v plus will be uh, delta v not divided by 2 okay let's substitute these values in this above equation v not is proportional to v plus v plus is delta into v not divided by 2 minus 2 into delta v not by 3 so if i say this one that means generally what happened we there is a disturbance delta v not increase so what it, it if it is in a negative feedback system what it should do v not should decrease in the first iteration okay so because of some disturbance what happened v not got increased by delta v not in when uh, this system that means this total op amp system samples the v not and processes in the processes and it will react to the that disturbance in that first uh, reaction what it should do it should start decreasing the v naught so that it will correct to the normal previous v naught so that it will uh, it if it is being corrected then we can say that this is a stable system and it is a negative feedback system okay let's see whether v naught is reducing or not okay so this will become v naught is proportional to so whether it is coming a negative or positive side let's see what will happen 3 into uh, some delta v naught minus 4 into delta v naught divided by uh, 6 so what it is v naught is proportional to some what happened minus delta v naught by uh, 6 that means v naught got reduced by this factor okay Redu it's reducing v naught is reducing that means this is a negative feedback system okay so let's consider one more example so because i this simply i consider as a negative feedback system let's change a question a, a very small 
then we will analyze whether this is a negative feedback system or positive feedback system. So uh, here instead of 2R here, we will keep 2R here. So we will see some whether this is a positive feedback or negative feedback system. Okay, so if it is a negative feedback system, what it should do? I am giving some uh, delta V naught here so that V naught should reduce in the first iteration. So let's see what is happening. So V minus equal to mm, V naught divided by two and V plus equal to two V naught divided by three because I have here I have given a um, disturbance of delta V naught at output. So V minus will be delta V naught divided by two and V plus will be 2 delta v naught divided by 3 okay so let's finalize so v naught whether v naught is increasing or decreasing if it is because i have given a positive disturbance v naught in the by sensing this v naught the whole system should respond and decrease the uh, output that means this system should act opposite to the disturbance so so that disturbance will be will not affect the system okay will not affect the output okay so let's finalize what is the v plus here v plus is 2 into delta v naught by 3 minus delta v naught divided by 2 okay v naught is proportional to 4 delta v naught divided by uh, delta v naught into 3 delta v naught divided by 6 v naught equal to then it will become as v naught is proportional to delta v naught by 6 that means v naught is increasing if i apply some delta v naught here as a disturbance what's happening at v naught by sensing this delta v naught disturbance this system what's happening is it's increasing the v naught so previously it was decreasing the v naught now what's happening is it's increasing the v naught again what will happen this delta v naught will uh, previously the error was delta v naught disturbance was delta v naught by this system what happened this increased the v naught again so this this uh, error will become uh, delta v naught plus some k value again the system what will happen the system this sense this change the value again it will increase the uh, v naught value like that what will it will go v naught will be will be hit the positive v set here because here v naught is increasing so that it will go and hit the positive v set plus v set